What's up guys, this is Homjack, and let's settle in for what I think is one of the slightly longer cutscenes in this game. And his flesh is seared just the way I like it. Quiet! You two whimper like grunts fresh off the teat. He's not meant for the jails. The hierarchs have something special in mind. Prophets of truth and mercy. I have brought the incompetent. You may leave, Tartarus. But I thought... And take your brutes with you. Release the prisoner. The Council decided to have you hung by your entrails and your corpse paraded through the city. But ultimately, the terms of your execution are up to me. I am already dead. Indeed. Do you know where we are? The mausoleum of the Arbiter. Quite so. Here rests the vanguard of the great journey. Every Arbiter from first to last. Each one created and consumed in times of extraordinary crisis. The taming of the Hunters, the Grunt Rebellion. Were it not for the Arbiters, the Covenant would have broken long ago. Even on my knees, I do not belong in their presence. Halo's destruction was your error, and you rightly bear the blame. But the Council was overzealous. We know you are no heretic. This is the true face of heresy, one who would subvert our faith and incite rebellion against the High Council. Our prophets are false. Open your eyes, my brothers. They will use the faith of our forefathers to bring ruin to us all. The great journey is a... This heretic, and those who follow him, must be silenced. Their slander offends all who walk the path. What use am I? I can no longer command ships, lead troops into battle. Not as you are, no. But become the Arbiter. And you shall be set loose against this heresy with our blessing. What of the Council? The tasks you must undertake as the Arbiter are perilous, suicidal. You will die as each Arbiter has before you. The Council will have their corpse. What would you have your Arbiter do? When we joined the Covenant, we took an oath. According to our station, all without exception. On the blood of our fathers, on the blood of our sons, we swore to uphold the Covenant. Even to our dying breath. Those who would break this oath are heretics, worthy of neither pity nor mercy. Even now, they use our Lord's creations to broadcast their lives. We shall grind them into dust and continue our march to glorious salvation. This armor suits you, but it cannot hide that mark. Nothing ever will. You are the Arbiter, the will of the Prophets, of these are my elites. 
Their lives matter to me, yours does not. That makes two of us. Hmm. So here we go. We are, the arm of the prophets. Arm we are playing as the Arbiter now, as this Covenant Elite. So this character is the guy who was like the commander of the Covenant fleet in Halo 1. And so he is basically responsible for, or he's held responsible for the Halo ring being destroyed in Halo CE, which is obviously a bad thing to the Covenant. And so he was going to be put to death, and the, the prophets made him into the Arbiter instead, meaning that he's like their special holy warrior, and it's like a way for him to just listen to these guys talk. Um, and I have active camo that I can use, so that's sweet. But the Arbiter is like a way for him to slightly regain his honor. But they also only send the Arbiter on near suicidal tasks. So I'm gonna take out some of these guys sneaky if I can. Slice that guy with the sword and take his carbine. Oh, sorry. Sorry, friend. We're good, right? No problem. So yeah, in this mission, I am supposed to be killing these traitorous covenant, these so-called heretics. Uh, yeah, I need to remember my active camo here. What the heck? And if you remember at the at the end of last mission, uh, when the Covenant Carrier like warps out of the city, that's actually when Halo 3 ODST takes place, I believe. So, interesting tidbit there. We good? All right. So I'll head down here. Go invis again. Oh, this is not looking great. So the sweet thing about the uh, the sword in Halo 2. If you walk up to someone, and I'm gonna, so I press Y to switch, and I can immediately lunge at them. Like, even before you see the sword in my hand. It's a very, very fast kill. More important than multiplayer than campaign, though. Take some of these guys out sneaky like. Oh, I wonder if he got a hedge. I don't know if headshots work the same for enemies. Arbiter, 
So I need to get to the back of this room, open a door, and then I'll get some uh, friendly reinforcements. It's always cool to be fighting alongside the Covenant for a change. See how he likes that one. There we go. Lots of carbine ammo too. Can pick up a sentinel beam. That's these flying robot guys are sentinels. This thing's actually really good in this game. <laughs> got some uh, fuel rod grunts. So many weapons to choose from. I want a fuel rod gun, but... Just can't really beat this thing's precision and range. Get wrecked, scrub. I like to insult the AI. If you didn't notice. And did that guy have carbine? Anyone? I'll just take this for now. That's alright. Just turn invisible. Punch that guy in the back of the head. Okay, lots of things are exploding right now. Alright, didn't even have to use the sword on him. Oh, hello. Nope, nope, nope. Okay. You're done. Give me your sword. So, what do I have now? Sword and carbine? Yeah, that's fine for now. sometimes seem to die in one hit, but sometimes sometimes not. Also the like muzzle flash on the carbine in with the anniversary graphics sometimes like so big and bright you can barely see what you're shooting at. Like if I go back old graphics for a second. I don't know, it seems much more manageable. It is very interesting to switch back and forth sometimes. Like this particular area, oh that's probably bad. Yes, that's bad. But this area is much brighter in the old graphics. does not seem like a 
good room to push up that far in. Take that, that guy out, be a little bit more careful, a bit more strategic. And there was a guy coming through this door. Anyone? Okay. That's a friend back there. Oh yeah, I'm just gonna blow that shit up. Kill a grunt off of it. Slicing and dicing these guys. So, uh, my invisibility, oh, I'm gonna die in like the same place again. To do. Some guy up on the second floor has a sentinel beam, and I don't like that. Alright, took him out. Uh, yeah, my invisibility is the little circle up in the upper left of the screen next to my grenades. It's full right now. If I go invis it starts running out, and that's how I tell if I have uh, active camo energy. Also, I don't remember really how long this level might be, so just a heads up, uh, this this episode could end without warning uh, if I need to split this mission up into two parts and I don't really know the halfway point so just so you know Sneaky, sneaky. Really hope he doesn't throw a grenade right here. Oh wow. Friggin that guy ran across my reticle and the aim assist dragged me over. So the grenade went right between the two guys. There we are. Taking these guys out like it's nothing. I could use a new sword though, at some point, or some weapon. Yep, trying to use an empty one on that guy. Go. Sometimes gotta use a little, uh, little plasma rifle to mix things up. Okay then, just shoot me in the freaking face.
Where am I even? <laughs> I just like didn't even know where I was after that sword lunge. the elites and, and okay get killed by a grunt no problem just uh just keep shooting my body that's awesome of you Ooh. stuck all right that was that was a much better run right there when you use your head you use your active camo Yes, yes, the Banshee out there. So this, after this room. One second. So after this room, I'm probably going to end this episode. Right before the Banshee part. That was definitely a back smack. The heretics are mobilizing their air forces. Get after their leader, but watch your back. I'm sending one of our fans to support. So do I go? Yeah. So this leads right outside. So next time we will be chasing the heretic elite in one of these nice-looking banshees. Isn't that sick? Not the normal purple. It's pretty awesome. But, thank you guys for watching this episode. And I'll talk to you next time. Later.